Battlefield 2042's third update since launch has happened. As of the making of this video, we are on the day after the update hit. Still no hotfixes, and the only community fix for the mouse not working, you heard me right, the mouse is not working on this third update, and there's no hotfix. It's from the community, this fix, to delete your prof save files in your documents, Battlefield 2042, or you can delete in the prof save underscore profile with notepad in that file, that config, your GST keybinding dot infantry dot concept your line. So anything infantry dot concept your, remove all of those lines, save that file, the prof save underscore profile, and then run Battlefield 2042. I'll put the instructions in the description below as well as in the comment section for you guys to see if you're having mouse issues still. We uh, we all had the same issue, all three of us, me, uh, Kirk, and Cuddles, we all three had the mouse issue, so we all had to do this. So I'd imagine probably 90% of the community is having to do this as well on PC. If you're on console and you, you, <laughs> your controls aren't working. Uh, yeah. Other than that, though, a lot of quality of life issues. I will get some clips from stream. I fell through the map at one point, which I've never had before. Um... Uh... Yeah, well, you're welcome for that dress. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> my left hand on weapons on a tactical sprint was flinging across my screen, kind of like the old arm stretch glitch. Uh, it was very reminiscent of that. Um, but we've had stuff uh, like on the main menu here. We've got our next unlock, next reward, which is the, the AC-42 for me. Looking forward to giving that a go. It really looks nice. Reminds me of Starship Troopers a little bit. We can see how close the nearest medics and the people that can revive you are as well on our HUD now. We've got Rush Mode reintroduced, which is a really nice addition. It actually plays pretty well. Could do with a few more players, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, that could be due to low popularity of the game at the moment due to the issues. So we've got uh, Snipers versus Knives on Nushar Canals, which was really nice to play. Um, it's a mixture of actually all of the maps, I believe. We were on Noshar Canals, and then we were on a 2042 map, so I think it's a mixture of all everything, but snipers and knives, So you and, and it works to level up your snipers as well, so it's a really nice mode to play. And that's one thing that's really nice with the portal mode. You're getting all of these, these community-made or officially-made modes within portal using all of the content from the Battlefield games. I would love to see more 1942 maps, Bad Company maps, Battlefield 3, possibly Battlefield 4 maps ported over, as well as Battlefield 5, Battlefield 1 maps, and... Uh, loads of weapons loads more weapons just keep giving it us in the dlc's season passes if you do those more weapons like like how warzone does they introduce two new weapons that's not in the game before at like level 20 level 30 whatever it was um you unlock weapons everybody else gets you know everybody gets them at a certain point for doing challenges but you can get them through the season pass you know that kind of thing that, that, i do like that with warzone the season pass is done that way but yeah it's really nice to see rush back and, and it's a really nice way of doing the portal mode here we've got our server browser here uh, there's a lot of tweaks made to the UI and the scoreboard showing correctly. Still, I didn't see any setting for scaling the UI down to shrink it down so it's not so big and in your face. I uh, really like to be able to scale that down to like a small size on my screen. So it's hidden in the corners more so. And uh, yeah, just a lot of quality of life stuff really. The game itself felt pretty good gunplay wise. We still had a lot of fun in our little trio we made. We did a bunch of rush and we also did a bunch of conquest. The bolt is still OP as ever. Uh, definitely needs a nerf with that 30 mil cannon that, that it has on it. It's just it's just the air and land dominator at the moment. It, it's just insane. So I'd like to see some balancing, which I think, and I'd be very surprised if it didn't happen. I think it's going to happen. The bolt's going to get balanced. Potentially the 30 mil cannon removed. Uh, keep the Gatling gun, uh, machine guns, uh, maybe a grenade launcher. But yeah, get get anything that uses more skill. The the 30 mil cannon is literally a laser beam and uh, massive area effect damage, so you can just take out whole squads of players hiding around the corner with that thing, as well as helicopters and tanks and things like that. And it's fast as all hell, so you can get around that map extremely quick. I don't know if you can see my arm there, just jumped into a quick game of rush. If I tack to a sprint, my left arm goes all over the screen. I was trying to slow it down a little bit so you can see it okay. It's all over the screen when I tactical sprint.
just an, uh, as an example. I've also noticed some stutters as well when I zoom in with scopes. When the game first starts as well, I get quite a lot of stutters that weren't there before. Uh, for the most part, though, uh, there is improvements. Uh, it's just introduced a lot of other bugs, which is not ideal, but... I have noticed as well, uh, more people playing for team. I think it might be this rush mode itself. I had a moment on stream where somebody actually... I, I asked for repairs with the repair, the, the menu here, the Q menu. And somebody called in a loadout drop to change their loadout, switched to a mechanic and repaired my tank and then switched back. It's just really good. It's a random player. I was really impressed with that. Oh, this dude actually called in a drop to change his class to repair my tank. Okay, that is pretty epic. Yeah. So I, I see more people playing, like, as a team. I believe it's been made easier as well to customize your weapon and things like that. A lot less uh, clicks on the team menu to actually get all this stuff for your weapon sorted that you want to want to do. A lot more easier to use, more slick. Tango down, not moving. Ooh, what a shot. Let's see if I can get a bit closer here. But yeah, to not have mouse working on an update day one and the community having to figure it out would be a little bit weird. They did obviously pass the information on from the official Twitter feeds, but uh, the community, I think, I'm pretty sure it was the community that, that found the solution. Um, yeah, it's... It's just, it's an FPS game. You need mouse, man. And the breaking mice on fixing other issues. And, uh. I knew they were around here somewhere. Jesus. But yeah, as always, just a quick update on the current state of Battlefield, as always. I'll leave the full changelog from DICE in the description below for you guys to read up on. There's a lot of stuff. Like, hundreds of fixes and quality of life things and tweaks and but obviously it's introduced some uh unwanted guests so it is an ongoing process so time will tell whether we have an amazing game on our hands or not we're having fun don't get me wrong like i've said we're having amazing fun in our little squad with a few friends there's laughs to be had plenty of kill streaks to be had sniping's really satisfying wounded friendly Though I have noticed shots that I think are a headshot. It's just like getting, giving me a hit marker and not killing. It's really weird. Tango down. I need some guys. I love that detail. There's these carrier bags and bin bags and stuff blown around in the wind. They look really nice. Took his armor out. And we can see in the bottom right there, the closest people that can revive. And people are actually reviving. Nice little quality of life added to the UI. And we lost. Oh, well. It was a good game. We had some good kills. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section below, as always, your thoughts on the update three for Battlefield 2042. Have you found any major issues yourself? Has it fixed things for the most part for you? Are you enjoying it? Or like we've said, has it totally ruined your experience and you're all just never going to purchase a Battlefield game again? Oh, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content I create. It really helps the channel out a lot. You will not believe. And it, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. I love you all. And I'll see you peeps next time.